I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. This episode is brought to you by Power Toothpaste, the world's first caffeinated toothpaste. Grab a tube at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Texting may take your breath away. Scientists in Korea found that people who use their phones for more than four hours a day had 31% lower levels of peak expiratory flow, which is a measure of lung function, than those who kept their daily usage under four hours. You tend to round your shoulders and drop your head when using your phone, so the result? You breathe less deeply. You're literally being choked by technology. <laughs> That's a pleasant thought. In voicing support for Donald Trump to Megyn Kelly on her Fox News Channel show, Mike Huckabee compared Trump to Captain Quint from Jaws. Huckabee claimed Captain Quint caught the shark in the movie, but Kelly pointed out that no, the shark actually ate Quint. To which the huckster said, oh, well, then we're toast. If you're struggling to get your hands on the new iPhone, you can partly blame Coco, an Alaskan Malamute. He has eight of them. According to Yahoo News, Coco is in fact the dog of Wang Sikong, who happens to be the son of the richest man in China. Wang posted the picture of Coco next to his stack of unopened iPhone 7s, but it isn't the dog's first tech purchase. Last year, Coco was pictured wearing a gold Apple Watch on each paw. You know, it really helps the self-esteem, knowing even dogs are having a better time financially than I am. When department store managers at a store in China took inventory after store hours, they discovered that a pair of pants was missing. Well, they chalked it up to shoplifting, finished inventory, and headed home for the night. The next night, when they were doing inventory again, they noticed the stolen pants were back, but that a pair in a different size were missing. They think the thief stole a pair of pants, later found the stolen pants didn't fit, returned to the department store, and secretly replaced them and took the other pair. A New Jersey woman who ate at a Popeye's Louisiana kitchen in Harlem, New York, claims she found a rat head in her meal. Popeye's immediately responded by saying the rat was just a new toy from their kids' meals. Wells Fargo's disgraced CEO, John Stumpf, unexpectedly retired from the company earlier this week. He's reportedly leaving with $134 million in compensation. Oh, well, that'll show him! Speaking at yet another campaign rally, Donald Trump misspoke, telling supporters to make sure they get out to vote for him on November 28th. The election, however, takes place November 8th, not 28th. So if he loses the election, he only has himself to blame for telling his supporters to show up at the polls 20 days too late. Find more weird news, download the free mobile app, check out my YouTube channel, and listen to other podcasts I host at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. And if you like creepypastas or stories of the strange and unusual, be sure to also check out my other show at WeirdDarkness.com. This show is made possible by my generous Patreon supporters, and all supporters giving $10 a month or more automatically receive each audiobook I narrate as they're released. Learn more by clicking the Patreon button at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar. Hey, thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to also click that little gear icon next to the subscribe button and select Send Me Updates so you'll be notified when I post new videos.